What's up everyone, this is Scratch, and we are back with episode number 5 of the 100% walkthrough for the Adventures of Pip uh, by TikTok Games. And we're in level 5, this is the last level, and we have 4 levels, or 4 worlds or whatever, stages I guess, um, in this level, in this level 5. Um, there's only 4, there was 8 in the other ones, so we should be able I think to get through all of these pretty seamlessly and hopefully pretty quickly um, and I will show you how to do it and we're gonna unlock the last five achievements that we have uh, which you've probably been following along or maybe you're just jumping in you know by now that we have to re rescue all of the prisoners and that's gonna give us a perfect on all of the levels when we do that and then we need to defeat the Queen so we're gonna get a hundred gamer score for that and then we're gonna purchase all the available weapon upgrades or upgrades in the weapon shop. And found them all is complete all levels with a perfect rating. If you've been following the guides or you're on level five and you have most of them done, as long as you have all three villagers rescued from each level or each stage, um, you're gonna unlock this in the video. And then of course, because we're on the last stage or the last level, we're going to, I have trouble, which is a stage or a level. Uh, if you're on the last part of the game, then you know uh, we're obviously going to complete it here. So let's jump into Castle 5-1 and see what we can find. So we got some new enemies and we got lots of pixels to collect. So I got to get 6,000, uh, 6,500 for the last one that we need. So. We've got a long way to go. We started this level with 300, so we'll see how we fare. Actually, we're already we've already doubled what we have. Wow, so that's pretty good. So we're already up to 1100. So we'll jump on here. This part is really tricky. here and we get our first villager and then we make our way back over here okay so this is where it's going to get a little even more trickier so what I recommend doing is jumping down to the square and and just kind of floating your way through here So one thing we can do is All right. That's no good. Okay, so I see what we have to do here. I made a little bit of a mistake there, but I'm with you now. So we're gonna hang on to this wall and ride it all the way over here. And I didn't wanna do that. back and then we have to fall on this guy one more time uh, to get to the third evolution which is gonna make us walk across so I got a little mixed up there but I think we're good so the next thing is we grab these which give us a tremendous amount Wow we're getting amazing amounts of of stuff here So I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring 
really quick. I think we're good. Okay. That's the guy I need right there. Okay, got it. So, in our little prison up here, I have... Oh, that guy's just right in the way. Okay, yeah. That's just there to trick you. So, okay. So we're gonna go there, and then there. Wait for these to appear, and then we jump here. Oh, you gotta float, and that's my problem. I'm not floating. Okay. kidding me? Let's just do it this way. Alright, got it. So this is of course so we can drop through here. So I'm good. All right, so this one is gonna be a little bit tougher. I think being our smallest is gonna be the best here. This one's a little trickier, but we're getting through it, and I'm actually getting a huge amount of a huge amount of pixels on this level, which is awesome. Look at that. So I'm getting close to 2,000 pixels for just this level. So I'm thinking that probably... Uh, close to 2,000 pixels for just this level. So I'm thinking that probably running through this level a couple of times. Uh, to. So for this one here, I'm just going to cheat and just kind of fall down on this, and then I could just jump over there. There we go. That's level 5-1. Uh, we've made it through the bitstream and got 1870 on that one, so almost 2,000. So that's a pretty good one to kind of just keep running through um, and not have to defeat a boss, I guess. 
Uh, but keep running through that one, and then we should be able to grind out um, getting quite a few uh, quite a few pixels for that last achievement. I think I just need 6,500, so I'm pretty close. Instead of grinding it out right now, though, I'm just going to continue on to level 5-2. And when I'm done with all the levels and I get to the last level, depending on how many I have, I'll probably uh, grind out one or two of them. I should. All right. Here we go with Castle 5-2. Alright, in Castle 5-2, so not not too much uh, to do here. We are just working on getting all of all of the uh, pixels that we can possibly find. And hopefully um, Boy, they're awful stingy with the pixels right here, aren't they? Except in these treasure chests. These treasure chests are amazing in these later levels. So if you're grinding out getting some pixels, here's the these are the levels to do it in. For sure. So we'll grab our first first villager right there but then I'm gonna run back over here and level back up uh, because I want to get those red things for the pixels I only have three 3400 more I guess to get um, and I should be able to unlock the last achievement uh, which is gonna which is gonna give me uh, all everything in the um, all the weapon shop let that go like this and then we're over okay here we go so last time I got a little stuck here so I I guess you don't want to go to the left right there I'm not really sure what that was all about but I was over there and I ended up letting that thing go back up and I got trapped with that little guy over there I guess we're just gonna swim our way up here. It's pretty easy. Okay, we got a villager there. So we know what to do when we get that. In these levels here, it's always easier to be the pixel. So we got our second villager there. Crush him. Lots of changing back and forth in these last levels, which is good. It keeps you on your toes. Lots to do. Lots to pay attention to. Uh, obviously, we're going to be doing a little bit of changing here. I have the upgrade that only makes me get half damage, so that helps a ton. Um, and there's our third... There's our third one. Now notice in these later levels, we don't really get any sort of indication that anything is there. Um, I just happened to jump back over there to check it and found it. Uh, but at any rate, we're here towards the end and we're going to grab another bunch of pixels. And we get this and all we need to do is find the bitstream and we're in good shape here.
Okay, so this is the last kind of one we're looking for here. Really easy to die, it looks like. a villager on that one if we didn't get it I guess so that's pretty cool because maybe this would be actually oh that would be easy to get we'd be able to get that villager I think oh uh, yeah definitely we found it early and there's the bit stream and we are good to go so let's move on uh, to 5-3, and we got, we got 1,200 in that one, so that one was even pretty good. So we'll move on to 3. We only have two more, so we're getting pretty close. Okay, we are in level 5-3. It's not too hard. But it does, it is, it is, like I said, increasingly difficult. So we're going to try our best. Um, this part's kind of a pain because you can actually do this without getting hit, but it's hard not to. Because, like, right there, I can't make a jump. Right there, they're coming there. Right there, they're coming there. So we're going to do this. And then I'm just going to walk on the top of them and get hit and don't care. Alright, we're collecting pixels. There we go. That's pretty good. Got our health back, so that's good. We're going to go down here and change into the red pixel, and you'll see why here in a second. And now the next thing you want to do is... Whoops. Uh, the next thing I want to do is kind of, oh, not going to make it here. The next thing we need to do is kind of glide and catch each of these guys just like this. And you'll be able to go all the way across and collect this checkpoint. Now, if I jump up here, there's a secret. You may notice this and it's, it's difficult to get across here. Um, I find that it's easier to go around the other way, so we're going to do that, and I will avoid the headache from that. Um, this is actually quite easy to just kind of fall through here, um, and if we go that way, uh, if we go that shortcut way, we're going to miss this villager. So instead of coming down here and collecting this villager and then trying to go back up or whatever or dying, uh, you can just keep going and you can skip that entire secret that I just showed you uh, completely and we'll go in from a back way and then you'll be in good shape so right here speaking of shape you want to change shapes and go through this as quickly as you possibly can because you're probably gonna cut it close like I just about did All right so we've made it through there and then also on this one you're gonna want to jump back and forth as quickly as possible to stay above that rising uh, flame. I was a little bit slow there, so we gotta wait for that pillar to go back up. Um, but it doesn't have to go up all the way, just most of the way. And then we'll wait for this guy to make his way back over. And then jump all the way up here and then change into the red block and then we can go up here and then as you can see we are on the other end of that secret that I just showed you and um, there's no coins or anything to collect so uh, pixels or anything to collect so you're not missing anything um, by skipping all the way down here and grabbing that last villager in this level and then you just make your way up here and we're going to grab another checkpoint and we'll be up.
Alright, so we drop that and we get this and we have a checkpoint and then we're real close to the end but we have a pretty difficult task ahead of us in which I just am going to change to here. And make that difficult task very simple. Actually, before I go any further, I need to get big again. Okay. So, moving right along. Tricky. You gotta kinda compensate because you do jump up a little bit, so. And then, of course, once you get here towards the end, we're right here at the bitstream, and we get in there. And that is another stage clear with another perfect. And I got 660, so that wasn't the greatest, um, but I did manage to grab it. Um, so that gives me another perfect, and we are at the very last level, which is to defeat the queen. Um, but before I do that, I have 4,110 uh, pixels. So I'm just going to go back through, and I'm going to grind level 5-1. Uh, real quick just one or two more times and get my 6500 I need for the last achievement and we'll go back and grab that um, and then uh, we can defeat the queen and be done with the game and have a thousand out of a thousand we're gonna pop quite a bit of gamer score coming right up okay so we're back here at the village and I am going to go in here to the weapon shop I need 6500 um, to get the last item from him and so I'm going to buy that, which is going to give me uh, full health. I do a mighty blast towards enemy with my sword. So we're going to buy that. And that is going to pop the last achievement for 100 gamer score, the more the better. So that's a pretty good achievement to get. Um, I still have a thousand left over, so I'm going to go here and buy uh, some of the power-ups because uh, we are going to go defeat uh, the queen. So I'm just going to grab some power-ups um, for uh, the instantly restores all hearts when Pip's health is depleted uh, was what I was going to get. But I may die on my way to the queen. So instead, I'm just going to get the potion. Um, and then the rest of this I don't really care about too much. So we're going to grab the potion and have that so that we have an extra um, line of defense. And we get those by going to our inventory. Um, so we have an extra line of defense against the queen. And so we're going to go and we're going to try to grab her really quick. Okay, level 5-4, so let's get started on this one, and I'm going to use um, my magnifying glass in this level um, so that I can make sure that I find everything, and I had a little bit of extra pixels left over. I didn't need to spend them on anything, so I figured, why not? Um, so you're actually going to be alerted for the last uh, for this last castle, so I'll be able to find them very easily and we are on our way so the first thing is we get attacked almost immediately so like I said I didn't need all those pixels so we're gonna go into the inventory and I'm just gonna use this boost for the villager detector uh, for this level and we'll get a little bit of an alert here when we get something 
there's no point in really collecting the pixels at this point um, because we're pretty much already already there all right so there's a villager in this level which I figured was right there and we can actually afford to get hit quite a bit here so that is a good thing be small to run across these. Alright, so now it gets a little bit trickier. So there's our second one. Actually, we, we would have needed it for the first one, but this one probably we don't. And they're only dealing half damage to me, so I am just hurrying, hurrying, hurrying. Alright, so we got a little bit of timing to do here. Actually, I think there was a villager in this. We gotta look for that villager real quick. I think I saw where it was. That's what made me remind myself to look here. Right up there. No. Okay. So we can be big and then we don't get affected by this. Oh, I see it right there. here and then we need to go underneath this okay there's our last villager so we're definitely getting that achievement here and we're gonna ride this guy over probably to the queen So we'll get close here. Okay, so we get a checkpoint. So this is probably going to be the checkpoint to the queen. So we have full health right now. And we have that potion that we can use if we need it. So we'll see what her pattern is. And I'll probably end up dying. So I'll just cut right here. Okay, so here we are at the final boss, the queen. Okay, so this first part is pretty easy. Just kind of stand in the middle and just keep edging over and eventually you'll have to jump over them. Um, but just kind of keep edging your way back and forth or whatever and it's not so bad. This part is probably the hardest part um, to master because it's easy to get stuck in the middle there. But as you can see, uh, only having to do uh, or only taking half damage actually makes it pretty painless. So then she's going to try. So you time that right so you get in there. And then she's going to shoot these things at me, which I can just jump over no problem. So right before they hit you, then just run over the other side. And it'll keep it kind of open and pretty easy to dodge. So not too bad there. So we're going to hit her there, and then she's going to... Oh, I could have fell a little better. Okay. So now this is her second stage, so this part right here is a little bit trickier. Uh, what you're going to want to do is um, 
basically stay away from her attacks, which they're easy to easy to do that. Well, except for right there, I didn't. Um, but then, when you do this, you want to de-res next to her. And then on this one, you're going to go over here to this side, and then you go over here to this side. And then she'll go back up here to the middle, and we're going to and we're going to de-res next to her again. And then if she does the uh, meteorites, we're going to just hang out up here and let her do that. We can pretty much not get touched here, so that makes it pretty simple. And then we're just going to de-res one more time. And then this one is a little trickier to get away from. I just kind of stand up here and probably going to get hit a couple times on those. So again, same move, just follow it. When she does this one, it's easy to not get hit. So, D-Res next to her again. And just stay up above it. This isn't how she pictured it going. But the queen has been de -rezzed, so we just grabbed that achievement. And she's all upset. So she is going to bury me here with her, but not really because I am heading out. So we're going to stay the middle character for this first part, which isn't too bad. And then we're going to be the, the largest character here. Um, and we're going to change back and then we're back again. So you just got to kind of time these right. So what we're going to want to do is run all the way over here and jump as high as you can. And at the peak of your jump, D-Rez. And then just do quick little short jumps and then jump up here and D-Rez right next to her. That is going to make you uh, a pixel, and she's a pixel. She can't even scratch the nose she doesn't have. Okay. So this is it. We're all pixels again. Spoiler alert. But there's the bitstream. Okay, and here we are. So we pop the achievement for founding them all, which means complete all levels with a perfect rating. And we also got Derezia's prisoners released because we got all of them in that level, all of the villagers. And we're gonna just kind of read through this. The king is talking to us. Wants to gaze on my four corners. That doesn't sound right. Okay, so this is the ending. And when we get here, we get all pixels have been restored and that has completed the game. And we're gonna snap the achievements here. So that is every last one of them. We got 100% in the Adventures of Pip. Thank you everyone for watching. And please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you want me to do some more of these. If you want me to, if you want to see any other uh, videos for any game, let me know. I have quite a few. It's always a struggle for me to pick which ones I do. Um, but I enjoyed the crap out of this game, so I wanted to make sure to do it. So. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video.